Hi, today we're going to learn all about origami. Origami is the art of Japanese paper folding. All you'll need is a square of paper. You can buy origami paper like this. It's colorful. It should be a different color or pattern on each side. And if you make your own, then make sure that you take some crayons and color one side of the paper. I would use a dry medium like crayon, not marker, because you don't want to get the paper wet. So something like that, or color pencil. Origami originated in the country of Japan. And these are all examples of origami. Origami is really cool because you're taking a flat sheet of paper and without gluing it, cutting it, or tearing it, you're turning it into a three-dimensional form. And today I'm going to show you how to make a balloon. Just from a flat sheet of paper like this, we can make a balloon just simply by folding. So now we're going to make this origami balloon. I've colored one side of the paper so I can distinguish the front of the paper from the back of the paper. I also will post in my lesson these origami instructions. These will be helpful. I'll kind of show you these. And here we go. We're going to fold the paper in half. And this is called a mountain fold because it's like a mountain or a tent fold. If we turn it this way, that is called a valley fold. Now this is important. When you take this fold and you reverse it, that is called a reverse fold, and we'll be doing a lot of reverse folds today. So for right now, I'm just gonna take the paper and fold it down so you can see the pretty side of the paper, or whichever side you like best. Then we're gonna fold it in half this way to make a square. And that shows us where the center is. We tend to take this corner, fold it down into a triangle. Now this paper, I cut myself, so it's not gonna be as perfect as this paper, but it's okay. Then I'm gonna open it up, slide my thing, hand in here, and then I'm gonna fold this over and out so that it makes this little triangle. I'm going to take this flap and fold it over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take this corner and fold it down to make a triangle. Notice I've got a little extra there. It's really not a problem. Um, it's just because I folded, I cut the paper myself. And then you open it up. Your, the easiest way to do this is hold your hand here, open this part up, and fold it over. You see that little triangle forming? Now this is a reverse fold. I'm reverse folding this. I'm re basically, I'm just reverse folding every fold I just did. And that can be challenging if you're, if you're first, you know, if you're just starting out for origami. But it's not impossible. And then we fold it this way. And now we have something that looks like this. It looks like a little starfish. So if you were making a starfish, you'd be finished. But we're not, because we're making a balloon. So now we're gonna take this side and we're gonna fold it up. Okay, and we're gonna take this end and fold it up like that. It makes a square. Flip it over and do the same thing on the back. Fold this side up and fold this side up. Now you have this on the front and the back. The next step is to take each one of these sides and fold them in to the center nine, like that. Okay, do the same thing on the back. So you've got four sections that you're doing this to each time. Now this is kind of turning into one of those little jumping frogs, but we're not gonna make a frog, we're gonna make a balloon. Now, this is the trickiest part, but it's also the coolest part. You take this and you fold it over into a triangle. Then you fold it in and there's this little pocket right here, little pocket, and you tuck it 
into that pocket. It fits perfectly and it holds everything down when you blow up your balloon. Okay, I do it again on all four sides. I'm gonna fold it out, then in. It fits perfectly, perfectly geometric. That's what I love about origami. And this is so good for concentrating and relaxing. Do the same thing on the other side. Fold over in and then just tuck it in there. And I've got this down, I just like stick my finger thumb in there and then I hook that in with my finger. I made like hundreds of these. And then fold it out and in. And tucky tuck. Okay, so you've done that to all four sides. Now you're ready to blow up the balloon. So here we go. There's this end, which is closed. What you want is this open end with the hole in it. You just take it like this and go. And there's your balloon. And you can throw it or whatever. It's fun. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. And hey, post a picture of your balloon.